Hello folks, uh, I'm making this video actually in response to a Yahoo question I saw, uh, it's actually a problem I'm running into too right now, but I found a solution. Um, that being, I'm actually trying to make a new demo reel of some of my work that I've done, uh, but a lot of the files that I've got that are uh, copies of that stuff, which of course are legally obtained, of course. Um, well, basically After Effects doesn't support uh, God, what did I just do? After Effects doesn't support uh, MKV files, which is one of the more common uh, formats to get your movies in. Um, and of course, while we're on the topic, I don't condone downloading movies illegally, blah, 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 all that. And you can see that my file here is blatantly named Legally Obtained Something or Other. So, yeah. Anyway, once you've got an MKV file, well, you know, you'll notice that uh, QuickTime flat out does not support it, uh, and if I try and drag this into QuickTime, you know, it just does nothing, or it might spit out an error. Um, now, the nice thing about MKB files is mostly the the codec that's inside of them is not incompatible with After Effects. It's just the container format of MKB. Um, and if I get my terms wrong, someone please correct me in the uh, the comments. I haven't necessarily done this professionally or anything, you know, dealing with all the different types of codecs, but from what I can tell, uh, you typically have a container format, uh, often it's AVI file or an M, uh, MP4 file or an MKV in this case, um, but then there's the actual individual codecs for each of the different streams that are in there. You've got your audio stream and your video stream, I think sometimes those can be combined into one stream, um, but Typically, an MKV file is going to be something like H.264. I believe maybe it'll have like AC3 audio or something like that. In any case, these are all formats that After Effects actually does support. It's just the the file extension and the actual, I guess, the headers on the file or whatever that tells it it's an MKV file. After Effects doesn't like that. So what you have to do is basically take this same data and put it into a different container. This is different from actually converting a file in that you're not going to lose any quality whatsoever because we're literally just taking the exact same data and copying it into a different type of container format. You can almost think of this as taking the streams uh, as though they were individual files and you know putting them in a zip versus a RAR file. It's kind of similar to that from what I can tell. Again, this is all just from my understanding after using it for a while. Anyway, so we've got this MKV file that won't play in After Effects to finally get down to business here. Um, so I'm just going to put that in a folder here, and there are two tools that we'll be using to, actually just one if everything works correctly, uh, but I've got a backup thing here for if you have issues. Um, the first program you want to get is called MKV to VOB. Uh, a VOB file is typically something you'd see on a MPEG-2 stream uh, on the disk. Um, I believe you see them on DVDs primarily. I think they're on Blu-rays too. Again, I'm not uh, too completely savvy on that format. But basically, a VOB is an MPEG-2 uh, container to my understanding. Or, or it might just be a DVD container in general. In any case, uh, what you'll typically get out of this is either an MP MPG file or an MP4 file that After Effects will read perfectly. Um, so to show you the process here, what you want to do is download mkv 2 bob which I'll put a link in the description, but it's uh, just mkv 2 bobcom and they should have a download thing from there. Um, so you'll want to open that up, mkv 2 bob and here's that interface here. Alright, and you can see it just has source file and destination directory. All you want to do is uh, put your oops, oops, stop all. I accidentally, uh, you don't want to drag it in or it'll just immediately start converting, which usually is fine, but uh, you want to set a destination directory and then you actually want to browse to your file. So here's my legally obtained something or other MKV file, and I'm just telling you to spit the final uh, M2V or whatever it's going to spit out into the same folder. Uh, once you check that, you can just do add file and it should just immediately start converting. Now, you might run into an error window here. I've had it happen where it'll just be a TX Mookser, which is one of the tools that uses behind the scenes, uh, has stopped working and it'll still go through the whole process and then at the end you'll get another error and it just fails. Um, I'll show a workaround to that at the end of this video, uh, but for now we're just going to assume that this works perfectly and I'm actually going to pause the video while this progress bar goes and unpause when it's done, so I will be right back. Actually, while this is going, I want to show you guys the configuration tab here. I've got something checked here that you don't necessarily have to do. Um, 
I believe DTS stands for like Digital Transport Stream or something. I'm not sure. But under this configuration tab, uh, there's a checkbox here, Always Transcode DTS. And basically what that means is there's certain audio formats that aren't compatible with other things or uh, you know, certain players will have issues with them. Um, and basically what this is saying is it actually is re-encoding the audio. So, I mean, technically you're doing a little bit of conversion for this. If you uncheck this, 99% chance it'll still work and everything. Well, maybe less than that, but it, it should work, typically. Uh, only check this if you wind up having issues with uh, audio after you convert the file. Now I can see this has already spat out the uh, transport stream or whatever the heck this is. Um, this is a intermediate file while it's converting. Uh, once this gets completely through, uh, you'll see just a single MPEG file here. Do, do, do. I'm going to pause again until this is... I can see the status here. It says mooxing or mixing or however they pronounce it, but basically that means right now it's combining the, the raw audio and video streams into one file. And once that's done, completed, and you can see we now have an MPEG file which I'm not going to play too much because you might see what it is and realize that it's probably not legally obtained, but whatever. Anyway, uh, so you have a MPEG file, and this now should work perfectly in After Effects, so just drag that in, and there you go. Works fine. So let's just drag this into our canvas here, just scroll around, and you can, yeah, you can see the video works, and I believe the audio probably imported correctly. Uh, maybe not. Looks like After Effects does not like the audio here. Uh, so it's very possible that the uh, the configuration I had here was a problem. Uh, chances are we might want to do PCM instead of AC3, so you'd probably want to check both of these if you don't have audio. Uh, yeah, whatever. Um, so I can't guarantee the audio will work fine, but in my case I'm only trying to get the video anyway. Um, and let's see here. Yeah. Anyway. So that's, uh, that's how you get it in there. Now, if you have that issue I was talking about where it pops up, that TS Mooxer error, um, for example, let me delete this currently, uh, you'll have to do another step, and that actually requires uh, installing the second program, uh, Holly Media Splitter. And the only reason we're installing this is it comes with a utility that can fix the problems we're having. Uh, so you just want to go to Holly, H-A-A-L-I dot S-U slash M-K-V, and then go to Matroska Splitter Installer. It's this guy right up here on the top right. Uh, once you install that, you should have a program on your computer, uh, C Program Files or Program Files x86 if you're on a 64-bit computer, and go to uh, Holly right here, or Haley, Holly, however it's pronounced, Matroska Splitter, and then you will see GDS MOOCs. And basically, this guy will run your MKV file through some, uh, I guess, header cleanup or some sort of file cleanup that actually makes uh, the MKV to Bob program actually work correctly with it. Um, so, for example, we just uh, drag in our file here. Oops, sorry. Uh, you right click and do add source. Then you would choose, whoops, uh, let's see. movies convert my file. And you can see it'll show you the two different streams. And all this is going to do is save out another copy of it that will work correctly. Um, so I would uh, put this somewhere where you have a lot of space. Obviously, if you're dealing with full movies, this is going to be quite a bit of data here. Now, this one's not changing the file at all, except for the headers. But you just uh, import the file, set an output uh, file name in this case. Uh, so just give it some different name from the input file. As through two at the end, and you hit start, and it'll run through and do a bunch of stuff. Once it's done, then you can take that new copy of the file into uh, MKV to Bob, and it'll convert it correctly without errors. At least that's been my experience. Um, again, if you guys do have trouble with audio, let me know. Um, this is one of the first times I'm really trying to run through this for real, so um, yeah, let me know. And if anyone knows how to fix any possible issues that come up specifically with audio, please let me know, and I'll update the video with it. But uh, for now, this is letting me get the video into After Effects and actually do some editing, uh, and that's cool. So, anyway, I hope this has been helpful to someone. I'm going to cancel this and just start working with what I got. So, please post any comments with questions or uh, comments or something. Whatever. I'll see you guys later. Bye.